What's going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're doing the DIY on how to create your successful life, how to become the superior man. It is definitely the do-it-yourself <laughs> method. Um, in all serious note, um, obviously, uh, like always, if you've been watching, you know. Update on the business. Basically, I um, got the products, product. Um, just been fixing up, building the website, and then hopefully within the next day or two, the website will be done. I think it will be done tomorrow. And and then I'm also going to order two more products and I'm going to be testing three products at the same time, creating three videos for each product each day and keep doing that rotation until or, or possibly even increasing it to four, five, six products even at a, at a time. And basically, I'm only going to do three videos per day for each product until I see results. Uh, or until I see a product doing well, then I will put my energy more towards that product and make like six videos a day, even 12 sometimes. But that's going to be uh, the results we're going to have to wait for and see. Um, today, I wanted to take more of a serious note. I wanted to give some motivation for you and for myself because... I'm in that mood. I'm in that desperate need for some motivation. The discipline's always there. The discipline of me working on my business is inevitable. I'll work on it every single day. There's doesn't matter how I feel. But definitely, um, I do like to indulge <laughs> into some motivation for to, to raise the spirit up. I don't think motivation is as bad as people think. Obviously, discipline is definitely the more important factor, but... Again, motivation is good. I want to start off by saying the simple fact of just not giving up and kind of realizing why you're doing all of this. Sometimes I get carried away and I'm excited for my future and I get, yeah, I get carried away where I think about that, the houses, the watches, the cars and yeah, obviously, those are good motivators, but they die out very quickly. And sometimes when you use those as motivators, you realize that that's not even what you're striving for. You know, at the end of the day, money should just accomp money should just come along with your journey. It should never be your main goal. It should never be what you're striving for because then you just push it away. You should just be having your goals. And for me, it would probably be freedom to be able to support and give happiness and joy to other people. To provide value to the world. Those are good, good objectives, good goals to strive for. The money just accomplishes it. But... Today, I was just, or even just moments ago, I was just picturing just a moment, the, the moment where reality starts to kick in. You know, when you have this mindset of success, it takes time for reality to catch up and make it into the material world. And between that gap, you just have to stay positive because the more positive you are the faster it comes to the material world and i was just visioning and picturing my head just i don't do this to flex my own stuff like i'm sure i'm sure when i have a lot of money i'm definitely going to be having the cars and the watches and living the luxurious life but that doesn't bring me the joy that I'm seeking for. I really, when I started visioning less of that and more of actually giving back, being more grateful f f uh, to God and my life and my situation, I think that is really what pushes me. 
you know, literally just picturing, you know, buying a car for my mom or buying them a trip. Or even making so much money, I can literally just tell my mom, it, it's done. You don't have to work anymore. We're okay. I got it. I got it covered. Moments like that is really what gets to me. Really what makes me strive for this lifestyle. And I know you can go on the internet and you can see a bunch of people who have already achieved it. And I don't believe that it's good to compare yourself to other people. Everyone's on their own lifeline. Everyone's on their own journey. And especially when you compare ages, this guy has reached such a humongous level of success in at the age of 21, let's say. Even 16 sometimes. Nowadays you see all these crazy kids making so much money and you look at your own age and you're like the fuck have i done and that brings negative energy and and negative thoughts in your mind and that just destroys the whole purpose of you being on your own journey if you truly believe it if you truly work patience and consistency will give you those results your time will come I just really just want to stop comparing myself to other people. I And I feel like with social media, almost everyone does that. I'm sure you do as well. And it's, it's rough. It's tough. And honestly, I, I really think that you should just put your head down and focus on your stuff. Focus on what you got to do on your own journey, on your own path. You can make your own uh, decisions and have your own freedom. But honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic and I can't wait for the moment where these videos that I'm recording now, I, I will look back at them and just say like, wow, like, look where I came from. Like, look, look at life now compared to back then. I had nothing. I, I had nothing. I took the risks. I took the jump of faith and I went all in. And it paid off. It actually worked. And it's also to just show other people. You see, a lot of people on the internet make videos on you know, watered down advice. And for me, that doesn't work. And I think for you, that doesn't work as well because it doesn't work for a lot of people. Watered down advice doesn't really work because even if I would give you advice, our lives are so different. They're similar, but yet very different. You know, the world is not just black and white. It's very colorful and different situations need different actions and thought process. And I don't even know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to a camera realistically. So for me to give you advice, it would be pretty much almost useless. But the whole point of this channel, it was it's not to give advice. Right now, the whole point of this channel is to, is to show and to be a, a, a forefront example of it's possible to show the authentic raw unfiltered process where like again i'm just me i'm no one special and i keep repeating that because i don't think i am we're all guests on this planet we don't none of us have any right to judge or be superior over other people we are all the same and i'm no one special but to show firsthand in front with like no BS, no bullshit that I did it. I think that will turn a mental model in your head, the viewer's head to drive their own success. Because I damn right. I've seen other people more or less do the same. 
And that is value that no amount of money can be purchased with. Because the, the hardest thing about this journey is not how to do it. You know, what's the what's the best way to do it? What's the settings to do? What's the schedule, daily schedule? No, it's none of that. The hardest part is trying to convince yourself with no results that it's going to work in the end. That constant battle in your head of doubt. That is the hardest part. It's none of this other bull, materialistic bullshit. It's the fucking demon in your fucking head. There. It creeps with doubt of putting work in for hours every single fucking day and not having a guarantee it's going to work. Now that is the most fucking difficult part. And I want to destroy that for myself. I want to destroy that for you. I want to prove to you that it's possible. Because that is the real fucking enemy is yourself. And your own negative thoughts. And what I just said, man, <laughs> listening to myself, it, it's actually truly powerful. It's fucking deep. I knew this video was going to be deep. It's fucking deep. And some people might take it lightly because words can only convey such a message. But the meaning behind my words are fucking powerful. You don't understand. I feel it. I live through this shit every day with the doubt. Is it going to work? That's the question. Is it going to work? Am I doing this for nothing? And yeah, I try to convince myself it's the journey. It's who I become in the end. It's not the actual results. And yeah, that is so true. But to say one thing and actually feel or do another is completely different. I can tell you all the fucking motivational quotes in the world. It's if you actually implement it. It's not if you just listen and agree. We all can agree on some motivational quote. Believe it's true. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in God. What else is there to do? What's the other alternative? It's nothing good. I'll see you at the top.